Okay, this heart one is for the blue. It's really thick. And it doesn't look like a lot, but no. remember sprinkles are little. So, so it's actually going to make quite a bit of sprinkles. It'll make a nice little bowl. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm here with a special guest. Hi, I'm Chef Mel, and I'm here today to make a super fun recipe that we can use all summer long. Okay, so today we are making homemade sprinkles! We are making homemade sprinkles with just a few ingredients, and you guys are going to see how easy it is. No machine, no KitchenAid. No appliances, just a spatula and a bowl. Oh, and a piping bag. If you don't have piping bags, you can use a Ziploc bag. Works the same. Sounds fun. Started? I can't wait to start. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on to our first step. All right, first step, and let's go through the ingredients. Okay. We've got powdered sugar, water, and glucose. Do you know what glucose is? It's sticky. Sticky. It yes, is sticky. It's sticky. It's also inverted sugar, so it's just another form of sugar, and it's gonna help the sprinkles shine. Because okay. if we don't put this in and we just use powdered sugar and water, they're gonna be kind of dull. Yeah, okay. we don't want we don't want dull sprinkles. You, don't you want, want you want shiny sprinkles. We want right? shiny just like sprinkles. we want just like we want sharp knives. Yeah. Yes. Sharp knives, shiny sprinkles, happy faces, right? <laughs> so cool, yeah. I like it. All so right. um, we just have some powdered sugar in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one batch, which is going to be white, okay. and then divide it up into each little bowl. And so we can add in the colors. Okay. Okay. So um, I just have some of the powdered sugar. I'll add the rest afterwards. So what we're going to do is just put a little bit of vanilla, just to give it a little taste. Okay. Just like that. Whoa, that's a big spatula. That is a big spatula. I don't know. I like it. You can mix a lot. I can mix a lot with it. <laughs> okay. Do you want to do the honors for the glucose? Okay. So if you want to hold it up, we'll kind of cut that right there. Squeeze it out or just yeah. let it. Ooh, it feels cool when you're squeezing it. <laughs> Okay, do you think that's good? Yeah, we want to get so. every little bit out. So if you got I think it that's all. all. Perfect. Okay, yeah. so when we stir this with the glucose in there, it will not clump, right? Well, it's, it's going to clump gonna right now down. because we're not cooking it. Um, but you'll see. In this case, it's going to give us a little shine. So I always like to start with less water and then add in more if we need more. Okay. And I also still have some of our powdered sugar, so we didn't add everything in. So we put about half the powdered sugar, some vanilla, the glucose, and some water. Okay. And the trick here is to, there's no real recipe to this. The trick is that you want to get it to a texture where it's pipeable. Like right now, this is so liquid, if you were going to try to pipe it, it would be a disaster. So... And there's still some leftover powdered sugar, so... Yeah, so it's kind of thickening up even more now. And I want to kind of grab all of that powdered sugar. And then you can add this powdered sugar. All of it? All of it. Okay. So this recipe is good. Like, you could make homemade sprinkles and homemade cupcakes. And then you could say everything that you made from there was homemade. Exactly. Because, like, they'll be like, no, you didn't make the sprinkles from home. Man. But in this case, you did. You did. So, sister, do you like sprinkles? What things do you like sprinkles on? Cupcakes, donuts, uh, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Uh, People at home, what do you like them on? Rice Krispie Treats. Rice Krispie um, Treats. I feel like you could put sprinkles on anything. And sprinkles. it just makes it fun. Sprinkles could... Oh, pretzels. Sprinkles on pretzels? <laughs> what? Well, I mean, you know how uh, salt is kind of like sprinkles, so why don't you just put 
salted sprinkles. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the perfect texture, so there's no lumps in here. So what I did, and if you have some lumps, just drag your spatula along the side of the bowl just like this, and it will get rid of any lumps that are in there. Here I don't see any, so I'm just going to kind of grab that back. And this texture is really nice. It's pipeable. Uh, and it's not too watery like it was before now that we've added in all the sugar. All right, so, assistant, did we choose our colors? Ah, oh, yes we did. We did. So, first color is blue. Awesome. The so we want these super vibrant, right? So should we, let's add a drop fuchsia. of each color okay, into, into the bowl. each bowl. Okay, and then fuchsia. fuchsia. So I'm going to start with like a two? good drop. Yeah, I would do two. No, we could always add more. And then, for the final color, we have purple. Ooh. And they all go together really well. They do. I think those will be really pretty together. Okay, so now I'm kind of going to divide this into three. And with your... So do, do we pipe it once we have all the color mixed in? Yes. So right now, we're dividing it up into each bowl with each color. And then we're going to be able to pipe them all. And you could use any colors that you wanted. Oh, totally. We could do bl blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Could do all the colors. All the but colors. make sure you have a different piping bag for each color. And a different spatula. Yeah. And right? Spatula. Because, like, we don't want to use the same spatula yeah. for all three. So we might need one more spatula. So here. Can I start mixing? Yes. Okay, this... Part one is for the blue. It's really thick. And it doesn't look like a lot, but no. remember sprinkles are little. So, so it's actually going to make quite a bit of sprinkles. It'll make a nice little bowl. And they'll keep for several months, too, in an airtight container. Whoa. So, like, these right, could I'm be saved for, like, several holidays. This one is purple. So Whoa. Look at that. Let's try to grab all of it. Make it nice and even. So do you have to color these sprinkles or could you make white sprinkles? You could totally make white sprinkles. I don't see why not. So if you just want to make plain sprinkles? Mm -hmm. just clear ones? Yeah, clear. Yeah. Or, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if you pipe. could make them clear, but you could definitely make them white. I wasn't the one who said like clean. <laughs> All right, so these are purple. This want, is kind of nice. Do you see that? Super nice. cool. So, do you want, ooh, wow! I didn't even see the blue. That is some. Um, that is very blue. delicious blue. Yeah, very vibrant. Okay, I'm gonna work on. Yeah, go for it. What color is this purple? This purple. Know. Let's find out. I think it's purple. So, I think it's. Isn't this the purple? I think that's purple. Oh no, that's, that's purple. Fuchsia. This, oh it? my gosh. <laughs> Well, uh, very big difference That's there. That's definitely purple. Cool. Look at that blue. That looks amazing. Yeah, it does. Cool. Definitely an arm workout because it's so thick. <laughs> yeah, if you're making a big batch, guys, like at home, and you want to just make a big batch of homemade sprinkles, you can totally do this in a you know hand mixer or a KitchenAid um, and let it mix by itself. And then same thing for the colors. But we're making such a small batch here today that it was just easier. We're to simple. By hand. We're simple. So let's look how cool that looks. Okay. Nice. So. All right. Here are our colors. So we have our colors. So now we are going to grab. So let's keep the spatula. Oh, separate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, separate for now. And then piping bag for you. All right. Have you used a piping bag before? Out of a Ziploc bag. All right. Not so, question. how do you load a piping bag? I get asked this question a lot. Okay. So first, yours is open already. Mine is not. So, rub it together and Friction. open it up. Okay. Then, what you want to do is grab it like this. Mm-hmm. And what okay. you want to do is fold it onto itself. And these are big, so we could always They're cut them big. if we wanted to. But it's okay. In this case, I'll show you how to be able to load it. All right, yep, you're doing good. Keep one hand here. Okay. Yep. 
and now use this hand to kind of open it up here all the way. Kind of like if your hand was a cup. It's like a trash bag. There you go. Right? Okay. A trash can, homemade trash can. So the key here is that you want to use, see how you have your hand is angled in the bag? Mm -hmm. So what you want to do when we're loading this to make it super easy is use the edge of your hand here. This is where your hand is. Okay. Right? So that's what you want to do. You want to use this to kind of push and be able to load things in. Right? It'll kind of be an edge for you. Okay. So let's each pick a color and we'll get started. So what we want to do is go ahead and lift it and see how I'm using the edge of my hand to go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And then go ahead, use the bag to hold it down. You can hold down your bowl with the other hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're doing great. This is your first piping bag. All right. So we have a little more. I want to grab like every last bit because this too. looks like it would make like 30 sprinkles. Even if it's just a little. <laughs> okay, I'm not the pro chef. chef. Yeah, but you got most of it, right? Most of it. All right, so we filled up our piping bag. Yes, look at that. We've got all three colors ready to go. Okay, so we can't really pipe them like this, though, can we? No, we gotta. So now we're going to close them. So what you're going to do is keep that one hand that's in there. Okay. Use the other one. So lift everything back up. Perfect. Awesome. And now what you want to do is use one of your hands and it's going to kind of help you push it down. It's going to be a lot easier. We're going to make our little hole first. Oh. And it'll help to get the air going. So this is better to start with a tiny little hole first. And if you need more, then you get more. See, it'll push the Whoa. air up. There you go. All right. Perfect. So, perfect. I'll close this one. Do you want to get this one ready too? Okay. Little hole. Little hole. Um, so, I'm going to show you the traditional way, and then we can always have fun with it and do anything you want. When you're doing a piping bag, so if you are left-handed, you would be using your left hand. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do is let the sprinkles kind of fall for themselves. So I'm going to show you one, okay? Okay. So, you want to squeeze here. It's a snake. And if it cuts, it's okay. Just kind of keep going. And we want to do them nice and close together so we can do as many as we can. Okay. Right? So just like that, and we're going to do nice thin strips, use up all of it, and then we'll be able to cut them up into all of the little sprinkles. Okay, here I go. Start from this side. Since you're Starting from this yeah. side. There you go. And just let it, don't feel like you have to pipe it, let it squeeze, and let it fall. Uh. A little squeeze harder, and let it fall. There you go. There you go. I'll put one in the middle. Yeah. Perfect. Might need to bring a little bit more down. Nice job. Yeah. So if you wanted, you could also do the little dots like you were doing before. Yours looks better than mine. Doesn't matter because they're all going to be mixed together and they're all going to look really nice. Cool. All right, let's do some blue. Let's get some blue in there too. All Ooh, that looks nice. I'll do some more purple dots. We'll do some blue dots too. This one's a little runnier. It 
So, which ones do you... So, are we going to cut these all up once they are set? Mm-hmm. And then just put them into a little bowl. Perfect. All right. So, now what do we do once we have all of our sprinkles set up? So, we're going to finish piping all of our sprinkles, mm -hmm. and then we're going to let them set. It's going to harden, so when we touch it right now, it's still kind of sticking to our finger. Yeah. Um... One of the ones, once it's not sticking to your finger, we know that it's dry, and we're gonna use a knife and kinda just cut them down into sprinkles. Okay. We are ready to cut our sprinkles. Parent supervision advised. Yes, indeed. So we're kinda just gonna cut these down like this. And you could also do it in one motion like this. And the idea is that while they're still setting, we want to mm -hmm. kind of start cutting them. We don't want to cut the mat that's underneath, of course, so we want to be gentle. And kind of cut them all like different sizes, and they'll kind of start lifting up. So like I saw the blue ones, see, that are thicker, for example, are still setting. Like if mm -hmm. I push down, this is still soft. Especially the ones that are dots. Right? Because those are the ones we did last. So these little guys here are starting to dry, though. But they do take a little while to dry out because basically we want all that water that was in there to dry out. Uh, so how long do you think they should set for total? So I think you're going to be responsible for cutting these tomorrow. And we'll let them set overnight. Okay. That way we know they'll be perfect. Yeah. Can you handle the challenge? Yes. Yes. So it's the next day and Mel had to go home. That's right. So here are the sprinkles that she cut up. Whoa. Spin them around a little bit, assistant. With your finger. Oh. So look at all those sprinkles, right? Now what are we going to do with them, assistant? Put them on this ice cream. We've got ice cream. So she's going to put some sprinkles on. Not all of them, but just a little bit of sprinkles. A little bit more. Yummy. So that's super cool. So these are sprinkles that we made with Mel, right? Right. So we have ice cream with sprinkles on it, and they're pretty good, aren't they? Have you yeah. had a couple already, haven't you? Yeah, they're really good. So hey, make sure you check out uh, Mel's channel, and make sure you subscribe to the Engineering Family. Right, Assistant? Right. Hey, look, it looks like somebody else wanted some. Wiggles wants some Wiggle. sprinkles. Wiggles. Wiggles can't have any of the sprinkles, though, can he? No, he can't. No, no sprinkles for me. For wiggles. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and Mel's channel down in the description. Bye! Bye!